Hello, well, students. Your instructor here, John Medulla, with another screencast in Dreamweaver. And this one, I promise, we're actually going to make the header image or banner image. Promise. <laughs> Took a while to get it working with imi images individually, and then working with sort of the CSS. But this one, we're actually going to do it. So let's jump right into it. So we've already created. You can see uh, the body is just blue, and this this text content is inside a wrapper div. So if we look at the code, you can see that. Right at the body is a wrapper div. So now, right after the wrapper div, we're going to set up a new div. We're going to go div id equals, and we'll just call it. Um, we can call it. I'll just call it banner, for lack of a better term. And then um, I'll just put the end of banner one here with my HTML comment. End of banner. And there we go, so we'll refresh that, so there's a banner in there. Uh, we see, I don't know if you can see, it's a little bit light yellow right there. So now, say that we're going to define what that banner is with CSS. So, if we just use a new button over here in the CSS styles panel. And we're going to make an ID. We're going to call it banner. Hit OK. All right. I'm not going to worry about this stuff. Background, this is what's important. Now I want to give it a background color of, let's just say, this kind of royal blue color. Then, notice the code is being created as we go. Background image, this is where that blue image that we worked on in Photoshop is going to come from. So, um, I'm going to go on my site folder, then in my images, I'm going to grab the JPEG, not the PSD, the JPEG. Now I'll click OK. I can apply that. And you see his background image, specific thing right there. And background repeat, I want to say no repeat. Repeating would be like if it's tiled, you know, throughout. Um, this one we just want it to be one time. So that's good. And then we're going to go to block, that's fine, box. I'm going to give it a width of 800 and a height of 200 because that's how big it was. Uh, when we made it in Photoshop, so I want this to be the exact same size. And then for padding, I'll leave that alone. For margin, I want to give it a bottom margin of, let's just say, 30 pixels. And I'll hit OK on all this. I think this should be right. Yeah, we'll go with this for now. We'll hit OK. And let's save that. So we can see if I go to design view now. So here is my banner div that I just made. Okay. So if I click on the edge, we can see that this yellow outline is the size of the div. And this is the texture background. And this kind of dashed or hatched area, this is the margin. Okay. However, if I could see it, it'll tell me. Um, the information, it's got a margin of 30 pixels. That's just going to be space, and that's not actually going to show up. So if I click here, that won't show up. That's just giving me some cushion of space between um, the banner itself and the stuff that's underneath it. So now we can try to insert that image. So if we go, that's image being the logo. So if we go to our split view here, go to the source code, which is the HTML. I wish it said HTML, not source code, but whatever. Then inside, or immediately after the beginning banner tag, and before the end of it, I'm going to go to insert image. I'm going to look for that look for that ping. So here we are, logo.ping and I will click OK. I'll not worry about that right now. And it's going to load in here. And let's go to design view maybe so we can see it. All right, there it is. Let's go to Design View, take a look at it. You can see that our logo is there. Now, two things to notice. One, around the corners of the logo, we can see the background of this through it. And also inside here, if I were to zoom in, you could see that uh, if I went to something like 200%, you can see, again, that the background texture is showing through. So that's good. That's what we wanted. That's why we made it a ping, so we could see that stuff like that. And this image, I could give a margin, you know, to stuff like that. Worry about that upcoming video. Stay tuned.